time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, February 21st. S and P down twenty four, Nasdaq down two fifteen, Russell down twenty, Dow down one seventy, gold and silver both red, notes and bonds red, ten year yield up one percent, oil up one percent, natty gas big bounce up twelve percent, grains lower, euro in the pound slightly higher, and Bitcoin down two percent, VIX fifteen point eight five. Touched 16, got above 16, did not like that. Said the water is cold, going back where it's warm, down. So I will not be trading power hour. It's a, it's a normal day, which I have for this month decided to either skip or be discretionary in. Looks like make it five wide if price holds here, or it could be a straddle if it goes towards 50 or towards 55. I just put on a one of my re entries just triggered, so that's one reason I'm not going to go in with tranche one. So that just entered here. <clears throat> 50 55s. So I didn't want to jump in with another 50-55 right on top of it. I've also got a one of my re-entries from a little bit earlier is on the... Actually, it filled in two different orders. So part of it is on the 55-65s and part of it is on the 60-65s. I'm real close to getting my uh, revenge lunchtime number one trade filled at 20%. I was real close to getting stopped on it, which would have really been bad. I just need a little more uptick. So my zero DTE today, my JSPs hit. That was good for 14. I actually took some off before 50%. I was watching price action, so I closed some of them, but... Some of them hit 50%. Uh, my one DTE, I ended up just closing out for a small loss, minus 225. My O2 call calendar, plus 400. I uh, did my 9.45 a.m. trade. Uh, one hit 40%. One got stopped for a profit. Uh, midday tranche bot that I'm testing. I, that was a manual entry. That hit 40%. And then my NDX is currently up. On my re entries, booked a little over 4,100 on one. Uh, one got, and then these got stopped out for small profits plus 810 plus 910. And then these are the ones that I'm currently in. So, good day so far. Yeah, I, I've shared it, E. Allison. It's not part of my plan yet. It's not it's not a back tested trade. It's simply just choosing the 25 deltas and having 10 wide wings with no stop. That's it. Nothing else to it. Just entering it the open. So here's what I got in today. So 
So I just let it expire. Either it's a winner or a loser. Yeah, so far so good. And what I'm, you know, what I'm looking at is it's covering essentially almost the entire expected move for the day. You know, and and so my risk reward will vary a little bit, but like today, my max profit's nine ten, my max loss is a thousand ninety. So it's almost one to one. Uh, a lot of times it'll be closer to like 150% risk versus max profit, a little bit more risk. But um, so essentially if, if price stays within the expected move, it'll, it'll be a winner for the most part. Oh man, I feel so much better now. My revenge, I should have never revenge traded, but I did. Uh, paid off. Sometimes revenge pays. Usually not. <laughs> well, you know, I guess I'm. I guess it's a wash now because I should have never placed the one that I lost in. Uh, you know, that one that I, was a full loser. I should have never placed that, and I should never placed this one. And now it's it's paying off. So, so you went in for the double revenge. <laughs> Oh man. Sometimes that revenge can spiral out of control. You gotta be careful. I know. I usually don't do it. That's the one thing I've been very good at not doing on this strategy. So, so I'm just in one power hour trade. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just saying I'm only in one power hour trade at the moment. So if I were to jump in tranche one right now, it would be it looks like it'd be the 6055s. Yeah, trade scat. I thought about holding my one DTE, but I was just like, man, I'm taking a lot of risk if this market starts to run uh, for very, very little decay. I'm just going to, so I just cut it. Didn't even think about NVIDIA earnings holding up premium. I assume that's what it is. NVIDIA after the bell. It's got a overnight move of about plus or minus 65 points. Oh, man. Plus or minus 68 between now and Friday. So about a 10% move. And it's been coming down the last few days. Yeah, it has. From 746 down to 668. Other big movers today, Coinbase down 6%, Robinhood down 4 Roku down 4 Shopify down 4 NVIDIA down 4 Lyft down almost 4 Just took a few days for that accounting error to follow through, I guess. On the upside, biggest movers, Baba up 3%. Baidu up 1%. A lot more red than green. Obviously, NASDAQ down 1%.
accidentally bit my tongue when I was eating lunch today. So if I sound like I have a fat tongue today, I, I, it's because I do. Oh, man, I hate that. By the way, if you are mm -hmm. new here, a couple of housekeeping notes. So in Discord, first thing I would do is go to the Zero DTE course channel, scroll up a little bit. There is a, a new member Zero DTE checklist. You can check out. It gives you kind of step-by-step -step of kind of the best way to get started. The Zero Live chat channel that you're in here, this is what we use for during live streams, there's another Zero DTE channel. Uh, also in the Trade Plans channel, this is where I post my updated trade plan each month. So here in the next week, I'll be posting my plan for March. You can also see Chad's presentation to, uh, to see exactly how he's trading, as well as a bunch of our other <clears throat> experienced trading members post their trade plans here as well. Uh, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't close my one, two. No, I'll close that tomorrow morning. Like I always do. That is taking some heat though. It looks like it's down about eight or 9%. Boom. There's the chime. AM number three, 60% and out. The old toss chime. There's not, there's nothing like it that gives you a good feeling. I know, man. Well, Especially when you're hitting 60%. Unless it's when you're getting stopped out. That's not a good sound. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I needed that one. Still don't think I'm going to do a power hour number two. I still got two trades on. When I put my power hour number number one on, I was I still had an AM on, that just closed out, and I still have my revenge lunchtime one on. Has been some good theta decay in the last. 30, 45 minutes. So, so discount, you liked, you liked how it managed it, huh? So, but what was, what's the main issue with whisper trades? Do they not have the filter? So you have to manually launch it. Is that it? Yeah, I do, Elliot. I hold the NDX trade into the close. VXX vertical, still hanging around where we got in. Now, yes, up 12%, but we're still pretty decent shape in our short strangle. Corn's continued lower and has not decayed for us, but still well in range. Got a time fly in SPX. Looks like it's up about about three percent. Boom! There goes forty percent. That forty percent on your revenge trade. Um, let me see. I think so. Six to forty fives. Like Madam Butterfly said, you're just 
rewarding your bad behavior. <laughs> Get out now. Okay. <laughs> yes. 40% on my revenge trade. Wow. Unreal. Actually, no, that was my power hour number one. That was not my revenge trade. Power hour number one, I got out of 40%. So my uh, three two ratio reentry needs a little bounce. My one to one reentry is nice and centered. Got some short premium and MES coming back to center. The Wuga is not traded on Wednesdays, actually, Bumblebee. But not a bad day to paper trade it. So we got the FOMC minutes came out. First gave a little pop, and then it's been all downhill since. As they reiterated, no sign of a rate cut coming. See, I'm going to look at a power hour number two. Looking at the 5550s. So is anybody playing NVIDIA earnings? I feel like I need a little. I need. I need some action. I need I some action on that. Nvidia. I was going to ask you that actually. What do you got, Madam Butterfly? So no risk to the upside, broken wing to the upside.
something like that. So expected moves, call it 65. Yeah, that would put us to the upside at about 720. <clears throat> Are you not down? You're going way up there. 750, 770. Far enough down. So a little something like this. So 128 bucks risk or yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have to go well beyond its upside expected move. Oh, I see. Opened it a couple weeks ago. Uh no, Ken. It's not power my power hour one and Two are not both centered. And even if they were, well, let me take a look. Um, I have one contract left in power hour number one. So I've already booked 40% profit. Or I'm sorry, I have two left. So that position's already a winner. So if I've already booked 40%, and also another thing is about it too, is I'm I'm not sharing any strikes. No, it's not at the same center point because I'm not I'm not sharing strikes. That's the reason I took it, is because I'd already booked 40% on my number one, and this allowed me to not share any strikes. Yeah, they are my uh, number one. My number one is the 4960, 4945s. And my number two is 4955, 4950. So they're not the same strikes. That's pretty typical power hour trades being five points off like that. All right, so here's what I'm doing for NVIDIA. Well, broken wing, upside butterfly, no risk to the upside. Just for a little something to do. Just for, you know, something to eat my popcorn to after the bell.
I definitely would not be buying a straddle before earnings MRP. I don't like that kind of theta decay working against me. I don't like price action the way it's looking right now, honestly. Do not like price action. Need a bounce. Now, revenge trade got stopped. So it ended up being pretty much a scratch trade. Bummer. Yeah, I used to do a lot of earnings, Mirage. I just had to, you know, I don't trade NTT anymore. I don't do earnings. I just, it, it became too much. My little, my little brain couldn't handle that much capacity. Shucks. So when I started focusing more on zero DTE and portfolio margin and this, all the stuff that I'm trading now, I just, I didn't, I just couldn't keep doing it all. All right, my little re-entries need a little bounce. Yep, need a bounce. I could actually probably do a power hour number three now that it's moved, price has moved down on the 5045s. Tranche two for power hour. It's a few minutes past when I would enter, but probably would have been the probably would have been five wide at that point. Build on something. And a little bounce. Get a little more it's bounce. Like I'll be able to reduce my stops. Got filled on 60% and out. Power hour number one. See, what was that? Oh, yeah, that was part of my re entry. Need a little more bounce.
a little more bounce and I would have been home free on my re-entries. Yeah, tried to bounce in it. Down to lows of day, forty nine, forty seven. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this down movement. Nope. Get close to getting stopped out. On one of my pieces. So close to uh, reducing my stop on that little bounce. I just checked it, Anil. It's more like 3%. Remember, it's of the max risk, not of the debit paid. Debit pay is reflected in your upper risk, but your downside risk is, is really your buying power. There you go. Get a little legs. Get back up to 55. No, it's it's just a one, two, one. Mukesh. Mukesh Capricorn. <clears throat> Here it is again on my screen. 697, 27, 45, 1, 2, 1. My NDX has to stay above 320. My, my that revenge trade that I did my lunchtime number one was exactly a scratch trade zero dollars.
A little more bounce. I got to get to 30% on this. Come on, Theta. Reduce my stop. A little bit more, just a little bit. All right, so discount decided to go with this. Yep, pretty similar. Little, little higher. You're expecting a little more to the upside. Yeah, theta. I was just going to say that, um, Frank. D. <laughs> I mean, it's got to eventually decay here at some point. Or NVIDIA will tank and we'll both lose. One of the two, a discount. I heard somebody say today that they, on a business channel, they were expecting NVIDIA to hit above, hit 900 before the end of the year. There we go, SPX. Look at wow. you. Wow. Might be a little too much. Look at this, you. This will go too far now. It's theta decay here. Four hundred sixty three million to the sell side is the early indication. Yeah, I mean, I would think I would have booked 20% here if we'd had some theta decay. Got to get it here in the next 10, 15 minutes.
All right, so I'm out of that piece. So I'm in the 5560s and the 5550s. So 55 is the sweet spot, right where we're at. NDX should have come up nicely. There she goes. Woo. She's pushing. Yep. Wow. 4946 and further than I wanted. Yeah. I need to simmer down now. Yeah. Wow. Really pushing now. Well, now I should have kept my 55 65s. Yep. That's the second day in a row, a big push like this in the last 30 minutes is really went against me. Oh, so stopped out of that one for profit. So now all I'm left with is the 55 60s. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Be nice, Madam Butterfly. It's just learning. Right. Still twenty six minutes to go. Kind of been the theme today, though. It's there's been some five and ten minute pushes that have been pretty sizable, you know, ten points or more. Maybe there's a typo in the minutes. Just kidding, guys. We are cutting rates. Next meeting. Sorry about the typo. And stopped out of power hour number two without booking any profits. Wow. Look at this go. Down 28%. Is that not on my watch list? Sixty fives. Wow. Where did that come from?
Well, I am out of everything thanks to that push there. So what was... It's trying to... It's trying to get the entire range of the day in 20 minutes here. Yeah, that's been the theme today. Maybe NVIDIA earnings leaked. <laughs> well, now let's, let's get those longs worth something. Might as well just go to the moon now. And that wiped out what was a nice green day for me, that last power hour trade. I think the chances of us getting back down to 60 are. Doesn't look very promising. No. All right. Stopped for a profit on that one. So my final tally is 4,400 on my, whatever you want to call them, my back test bots. And then on my re-entries, plus 7,600. So about 11, almost 12,000 on the day is a nice day. Could have been better without this little thing, but can't complain. Well, we got 22 minutes to go, my friends. Yeah, my longs. Uh, kind of keeping an eye on them right now, see if they get some value here. Early indication MOC was little, so I don't, I mean, there can always be a surprise at the end, but don't anticipate it. So I guess we will uh, shut down power hour a little early. Yep, because I'm completely out. Grab your popcorn. Wait for NVIDIA earnings after the bell. VIX is getting crushed too. All right, so live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is February 22nd, so Chad will be streaming live in the morning for the Mighty 90 and Runners, and then we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.